Welcome to Sculpture Studios. A very quick turnaround project here today, which unfortunately means only a very short video with only a few clips. However, this just goes to show the variety of projects that we have come through our doors. Some jobs last months with numerous processes behind the build, fiberglass, structural metalwork, artwork and finishing, and other projects like this where something needs to be created in literally just a few days. What you're joining us for here today is actually for a music video. Ellie Goulding's Like a Saviour, released in February 2023. The music video is to depict a desert scene with dancers, and we're going to be creating a sand dune that, unlike the background of the stage which we imagine to be green screened or projected onto, the sand dune is a 3D dimensional prop sitting more in the foreground. This is being hot wire cut from polystyrene and hand carved using nail and wire brushes. Once we have the finished form we'll sand this down to a relatively smooth finish and as this is going to be dressed on site we're just going to ensure that no straight join lines are visible before we give it a base coat of paint. This project has been commissioned by Oliver Hogan from LuckyPDF.com and Oliver was actually our client for the Iron Guy commercial prop that we made for Hyundai so thank you very much for coming back to us once again. The advantage of having things created by hand are that even though this project does have a 3D reference file provided, we can actually work from very simple concepts. Two dimensional images with just some rudimentary measurements, nothing needs to be programmed in, we simply wind Aiden up and basically watch and let him go. Jessica, in your power stance, can you please let us know what you're up to? Uh, so here we are just getting rid of some of the join lines that have been on the polystyrene and one of the good ways of hiding it when you've got nice texture like that just to grab one of the nail brushes, just tap over that line. It seems a little bit brutal and it just seems a bit weird. It does seem a little bit dotty now but this is getting another layer of paint over the top so that will soften it back that way and it just helps hide any other straight lines in it so obviously we've got a little bit more to do now but uh, yeah, I'll carry on with that. This is eventually going to be covered in sand by the client anyway but this is so that everything kind of arrives in a, a relatively uniform state. Um, as Jess said, we're going to go over with another layer of paint so all these patchy areas that have just been uh, sanded back are going to be somewhat filled. Jess is limbering up and uh, making sure to stay nice and flexible over the course of the winter before she goes into hibernation. And there we are. With the final touches added to the plaster and an additional coat of paint, this is then collected from our studio. This is literally the last we see or hear of the prop until the release of the music video. The ways in which landscapes and backgrounds like these are filmed or created nowadays is constantly evolving in both film and television as well as in music videos. Green screens are a common sight on studio stages and there are now numerous occasions such as the way in which a television show like The Mandalorian was filmed with wide sweeping LED screens which is capable of creating an immersive backdrop live on set. Sometimes though, a physical prop or piece of scenery is either quicker, cheaper, easier to interact with on location, or can simply be chopped and changed, moved around on the day if the director wants a bit of creative freedom. As revolutionary and impressive as visual effects undoubtedly are, we're obviously in the practical prop industry. So for as long as theatre, movies, television, exhibitions and anything else in between demands it, that's what we're going to make. We'd like to thank Oliver Hogan once again for coming to us with this project and of course to Ellie Goulding and her creative team for creating a project that demands such a prop. We always love hearing what you guys think of our projects and our channel so please feel free to drop a comment below and by all means subscribe and give us a follow on social media. 
A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos. We love having you guys on board. And if you'd like to support our family run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.